As humans, virtually all of our traits, even those that are ones we value, can cause us some difficulties in particular situations. For example, being sensitive and having strong emotional reactions is not in and of itself problematic. These traits also lead us to be high in empathy and the experience of joyfulness and happiness. However, being high in interpersonal sensitivity can make us more sensitive in our reactions to benign joking or teasing, for example. This can directly impact our self-esteem and potentially relationships with others. For example, those that are doing the joking or the teasing. While we may not be able or even want to completely change these traits, we are often able to make conscious decisions around them that can help us deal with these situations in a better and more effective way. My name is Dr. Jody, and I'm a registered psychologist with expertise in all things related to psychological health and resilience. I'm also the CEO and founder of MyWorkplaceHealth.com, and I'm a national expert in psychological health and safety in the workplace. In this video, I'll be talking about the personality traits, such as interpersonal sensitivity, that you don't necessarily want to change, but want to have a better relationship with. Now, when it comes to our emotional reactions, the single most important factor that shapes how we react is our thoughts and interpretations about the situation. For example, if you're walking down the street, wave to an acquaintance you recently met at a party who ignores you and think, Ooh, I must have said something she didn't like when we met, you are likely going to react negatively. If instead you think, she didn't recognize me, seeing me here is out of context, or she looked preoccupied with the phone call she was on, you'll probably have little to no emotional reaction. And so how can we have better control over our emotional reactions, particularly as they relate to emotional sensitivity? First, identify the automatic thoughts and interpretations that come up for you in a particular trigger situation. What are you thinking, perceiving, and believing? Be as specific as possible. Second, ask yourself a few key questions. Are the thoughts or interpretations you're having realistic? Are they accurate? What's the evidence that what you're thinking is true? What's the evidence against that thought as being not true? What alternative explanations could there be for the comment that was made? Finally, actively work on replacing the automatic negative thoughts with thoughts that are more accurate to the situation based on a review of all of the available evidence. I believe that a core part of our life's work is to continue to build awareness of who we are, recognize the patterns and behaviors we engage in that may be negatively impacting us or those around us, and work to continually improve areas of weakness. The goal is not to do away with fundamental elements that make you who you are, but rather to embrace those attributes in a way that the positives are maximized and the negatives are minimized, so that you're living an overall happier life. Thank you so much as always for watching, and I hope that you found this video helpful. I'd love it if you took a moment to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media for more helpful tips.